Well, it has to be done. The Rode NT1 versus the Stellar X2. Let's see how they do. Both of these mics have terrifically low self noise. The Rode is absolutely amazing at minus 4.5 dB. This one doesn't sound so good because I think it's somewhere around minus 12, 13. But in real life, I don't find this very noisy at all. Comparing the two of them physically, you can see that the Rode is quite a bit bigger than the Stellar X2. You can see that, uh, so if you're taking video or something like that, you're gonna see that uh, this is gonna have a bit more of a profile, especially when you take into consideration the, the shock mounts. This is the Stellar X2 shock mount, and as you can see, it's a standard type of thing. You can buy these on the internet, and they're quite cheap. So it doesn't take up too much face room if you think about it on video but the road is a lot lot bigger and bear in mind on top of that you're going to need something that there's a pop filter that sticks out there if you want to fit it so this is quite a difference in size especially if you're using it on video anyway I think in terms of microphones for video you've got to take into account how much face space is the thing going to take up both of them are phantom powered microphones, which means you've got to supply them with 48 volts phantom power. The only thing is, is the Rode will also take 24 volts phantom power, which is quite handy if you're using battery power. In the UK, the Rode NT1 sells for about £199 as a kit, which is pretty good value actually when you compare it to the Stellar X2, which is currently selling at about £279. Don't know how that works because in the USA, you can buy the X2 for a lot less and the translation to the English price doesn't seem to work. So the Stella is quite a bit more expensive. Both have quoted frequency responses of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so that's fine. The road says a one inch capsule. The Stella X2 has a 1.34 inch capsule. That's what it says anyway. The Rode is slightly more sensitive at minus 29 dB and the Stella is at minus 31. There's not a huge difference, so it's not too much to worry about. If you're gonna need a stand with a boom arm on it, you're gonna have to also take into consideration the weight of the microphones. Now the Rode comes in at 440 grams and the X2 comes in at 346 grams. So the Rode is a little bit heavier, it's almost, almost. Is it almost a third heavier? Both have a cardioid polar pattern. Now the difference between them in terms of noise is quite dramatic. The Rode is quoted at minus 4.5 and the X2 at minus 13. Now having said that, I haven't noticed the noise on the X2 quite that much really. To me it sounds really quiet but I was quite surprised to see it was quoted at minus 13. So you've got, you've got a minus 4.5 to a minus 13. Quite a difference in that noise figure, especially when you consider the price difference too. So which one would you go for? This is the sound of the Rode NT1 being spoken into at an ideal distance of about six inches or so from your mouth. This is the sound of the Stellar X2. This is the Rode NT1. This is the Stellar X2. This is the Rode NT1. And this is the sound that you get from the Stellar X2. This is the Rode NT1 being spoken into at a distance of about two feet to get it out of the picture. So if I just raise, there it is. If I just lower it down, this is the sound of the Rode NT1 out of picture. So it's about two feet away from me facing up at me. So the wall behind me is blocked hopefully by my body, but I'm in a box room and it's very likely to be picking up the sound of the room. This is the sound of the Stella when it's about two feet away, when you're more likely to pick up the sound of the room. Again, as I said earlier, I'm in a box room and it's not good for microphones to take them too far away. So this is the sound that you would get with a Stella if you just try and get it out of shot or something like that. This is the road being spoken into at close proximity. When you speak so close to a microphone, you could well get a very raised bass. So this is the sound of the road when it's close up. This is the sound of the Stella when it's in close proximity to you and you're going to get a lot more bass this way. So therefore what I've done is I've put the microphone sideways in order not to blow too much air into the capsule itself. This is the sound of it with close proximity going on. This is the sound of the road from the front. This is the sound of the road from the side. This is the sound of the road from the rear back to the side and there's the front again. This is the sound of the Stella from the front. This is the Stella from the side. This is the Stella from the rear. This is the Stella from the side. And we're back to the front again. 
I forgot to say at the start that you can get two shock mounts for the Rode actually. The one I was showing you was actually the NT1A shock mount which is slightly smaller when I was talking about the profile of the microphone. If I show you this one, this is the one that comes with the Rode, it's a lot bigger. So you can see that takes up quite a bit of the profile if you put it into the picture there. There it is right there in front of me now. You can see it's quite a big microphone. Um, and if that uh, shock mount comes into play, but it's actually quite effective. It's quite good. So, which one would I choose? It's very difficult, isn't it? On In terms of price, it's got to be the Rode because the Rode is 199 for a rather nice kit and it's substantial. In terms of noise, on the face of it, you'd say definitely the Rode at minus 4.5 dB. That's a very, very good noise figure. It's excellent, actually. Not many mics will get near that. But having said that, the Stella doesn't sound as if the noise is in a place where you would actually hear it that well. To me, it sounds quite quiet as well. So I'm kind of surprised that the noise figure is quoted as minus 13 because to my ears, it doesn't sound like minus 13. So it must be something to do with where the frequency of the noise is because I'm not picking it up that much. Both of these mics are really excellent and I couldn't choose between them if I'm honest in terms of sound. The Rode is very smooth and I think the Stella has a little bit more crispness up the top. But one thing I did notice when I first got the Stella was the fact that when I put it into this box room, which isn't particularly good for sound, it really rejected the reverberation of the room very, very well. Now, I don't know why that should be because they've both got a cardioid pattern and they seem similar in the way that they work as far as the polar pattern goes. But um, once I got it into this room, it seemed to shut the room away and I got pure speech into the microphone, which uh, I'm not sure how that's working. But the Stella seemed really, really excellent to me. So it's a difficult choice between the two. For me, I don't like the big, the large profile of that shock mount with the NT1 on a video. I love it for other stuff. If you're going to just, just record, say, um, sound for... Uh, uh, you know, voiceover or something like that where you're not going to see it, I would use the Rode perhaps because it's really smooth. But for profile, I think I might prefer the X2 because it's just got a smaller, slightly smaller profile on video. So it's a, it's a difficult choice between the two, but the big thing might be the price difference as well. Hope to see you next time. Cheers for now.